Welcome to History Adventuring. This is episode number 412. I'm Brad Hall, and today we're looking at preserving the history of Phoenix with family photos. I like old photos of Phoenix, and many of them have people in them. My interest started with identifying the buildings. I always wanted to be an architect, but I couldn't do the math. And then I started noticing the people, and it occurred to me that these were real people in real places, in real time. You know, like the people you see walking around on Google Street View. Well, recently I had the privilege of looking at some of the most fantastic family photos that I've ever seen of historic Phoenix, the Hanny family, in the 1890s. It all centers around Vic Hanny, who started the clothing store in Territorial Phoenix, and whose name is on the restaurant on First Street in Adams, which used to be a clothing store. I love looking at photos like this, and I respect privacy, because some people don't want any of their family photos to be ever put on the internet. I won't argue with people, but I will ask their permission to share them. I know that there are a lot of people like me who get a big kick out of seeing places like Hole in the Rock, which is where these guys are in the photo back in the day. I also appreciate there are a lot of people who would never allow me to share anything for reasons as varied as thinking that if someone saw a picture of their great-grandfather on the internet, uh, they could steal their identity, or a thousand other things that they may have heard somewhere. Or maybe they think that a museum would pay a lot of money for something, or that their old family photos have a value on eBay. But these images are priceless, and unfortunately, they really have no monetary value, and museums really don't want to store and display more stuff. So unfortunately, a lot of precious stuff is lost all of the time, thrown into dumpsters after the house is sold. I'm not selling anything. I'm not creating a museum. I just like to scan stuff in and share it. And I like the thought that once something is out on the internet, it can never be lost, never be thrown into a dumpster, never be locked up out of public view. I just like the thought of that. Please share. This has been History Adventuring. I'll talk to you later.